What's up guys, this is the worker 124 here. Today we're going to be doing a review on the me, uh, the Makita DJV uh, 180 jigsaw brush. It's a brush jigsaw um, and with a Makita 4 amp battery on. So let's just get into some of the specs of it. Um, it's got uh, the lock button there. So you push that in, trigger's locked. It's got a variable speed trigger, so as you pull it in, you see it goes faster, slower. Uh, you've got these here. That uh, so that's just normal, just cutting. That's it, like pushing it forward and cutting. That's it, pushing it sideways and cutting. And then that's it, kind of like doing both, all three. And it basically just makes the cut quicker. Um, this is a quick release T blade, so you put it like that. Make sure the butt, it makes sure it's locked. You literally pull that right forward like that. Blade comes straight out, and you put the blade in, lock it in. You're ready to go. You've also got a, a Allen key. Wait, let me just do it over here. There's a bit more light. Uh, yeah. You've got the Allen key. Um, right here. So you pull that out, small little Allen key, and then it goes right in there. And you, it's quite tight, but you pull it. If you want to loosen it, you pull it towards the blade like that. If you want to tighten it, you pull it that way. So if you loosen it like that, it tends to take like like that, and that'll be it. So you put that down, and then you can pull it back. Oh, is it forward? Back. You pull it back a bit, and then you can either have a 45, 45. I think it's a 30, or you can just adjust them as whatever you want. So if you want it like that you can bolt it in and sit it there so if you've got like a digital protractor or something like that and you want a certain angle then you can do it uh, it also comes with a um, let's put that back in there so that just slots in there it also comes with a rubber back rubber bottom that on like that it just clips in it just clips in like that so if you're doing things that you don't want to scratch or anything like that you've got a simple um, thing so it doesn't scratch the wood so now we're going to try and do some cutting tests this is just on uh, very small pieces of wood not very thick but uh, I'll show you the different modes if actually if actually if I can get my tape measure wherever I've got it I can tell you what thickness that wood is uh, the wood thickness is uh, one and three quarter inch long and nearly three quarters of an inch thick so it's not very big boards but they're pretty good right so let's just put that piece like that so I've just got these cutting lines so we'll uh, unlock it uh, it's also got a light on so as soon as you do as soon as you press the trigger a light comes on as soon as you let go it comes off so uh yeah, this is just normal cutting. Okay, so that was me pushing as much as I could. And that was the normal cutting speed. Then we'll go on to uh, the next setting.
so it's a bit more faster then we've got the other one and then finally we've got the fourth one so let me get them cut and I can then show you guys the outcomes so if you so that's the first one so there's like no like ripples at the end it's quite a clean cut that's the second one so it's a bit more messed up but uh, but on this side it's fine so that's the front that's where we were cutting so the jigsaw was here and that's the bottom so the bottoms tend to be cleaner so if you want this piece to look the best you flip it round and cut it but if you wanted this piece to have looked the best you would have had to flip it around like that um, that was the other one so it's obviously more like that and then that was the last one a very rough one um, just for like cutting quickly and not very accurate um, so yeah that is the Nikita uh, DGJ, uh, DJV 180 which is a pretty good jigsaw um, yeah it's <laughs> run time I can probably get on the full one probably get about 70 80 cuts on a 4 amp battery cutting them um, obviously a 3 amps lower if you have a 5 amp you want to be if you're using saws like that or like circuit saws you probably want to using 5 amps or 4 amps because if you're using 3 amps you'll spray through them really easily um, so yeah that's the Makita DGV DJV uh, 180 which is also there on the poster that I have there there's also a second one I think that second one is the brushless one um, so yeah guys that's it for today uh, for the review um, I hope you guys enjoyed catch you later